Hello everyone, this is Tony. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Trophy Food Experiences. Today I'm doing a review of a recent dinner I had at Ai Den and Tran Zhi Di Beijing Duck House, located at 2808 Canby Street in Vancouver. This is the um, restaurant that has a Michelin star. So it is on its website says that it is the only Michelin star Chinese restaurant in Canada. And um, they do have uh, premises in China, so it comes from China. Although I'm told by my friends uh, from China that it is um, a different menu. So it was established here, and I think to a lot of people's surprise, it got a star um, because it was just established very recently. And so um, it is, Zhen Ji Di is established in 1864 during the Qing Dynasty and it's a very established uh, restaurant in China. Uh, so, and of course, famous for Beijing duck. So I have been there uh, previously, wasn't that impressed by a service, and so it was really interesting going back. As you can see by the photos, the place is magnificent, stunning um, in terms of its design and decor. So um, that definitely has full marks. And I went with a friend who is a regular there, so I probably got the best uh, possible service, the best possible food, um, of you know the best experience you could. So um, again, I was very eager to come back to this. Uh, the first time I had went with my friends um, when it just opened, um, wasn't that impressed. Service standard wasn't very high in my opinion, and uh, the food quality was was okay. And honestly, there was a lot of other places in town, namely Mot Thirty Two and. Um, Chin Chang'an, which I preferred in terms of this, the duck. Be forewarned, if you go there, it's going to be expensive. It's not a bib gourmand for sure. So um, you are going to be spending some money, but you know, that's like a lot of high end restaurants in town. Um, you're going to probably spend quite a bit of money. Um, but the difference is with a lot of the high end restaurants, probably be, be the the wine that maybe perhaps that you serve, you, you'd um, spend the money on. And here it's really the food. It is, um, as you'll go through the prices, it's not cheap. Anyways, this is the um, amuse bouche, which was uh, sent to our table complimentary. Um, a little, looks like a little dumpling, uh, vegetarian dumpling. Um, I actually can't recall what it tasted like, but it was um, nice to have something like this as a starter. So I did not order, my friend ordered. Um, so I'm kind of guessing at what these things are, um, some of them. So I think this one is the Shanghai style smoked fish, which is deep fried yellow croaker with a sweet glaze. And this is $30. So for an appetizer, it's uh, in terms of the size, um, that is not inexpensive. I thought it was decent um, and I thought it was, you know, pleasant. Uh, it does have a sweet glaze on it. Um, so to me, it was a, it's a decent dish. Next, I believe this is the olive fish mal soup for $40. Fish mal, olive, morel, pork, chicken, cordyceps, flowers. Um, it was again an okay dish um, and um, aesthetically not probably as stunning as I would expect from a one star Michelin restaurant. Um, so again, and the service was okay. Um, I didn't think it was really up to uh, one star Michelin standard. We were in a private room and perhaps they didn't want to disturb us. Um, but um, yes, they didn't really change plates. We had to help them with plates. Um, so I didn't think that was um, great service. It was, it was friendly and it was uh, okay. So this is the geo duck dish and I believe it's just two dishes. Um, but this one was, um, I think if it's on the menu, it says 2.8 pounds of geoduck and it's $298, which is kind of expensive. Um, and if you look at this first part of this dish, it's the presentation isn't um, all that impressive. This is the second part of the geoduck dish, which is XO sauce. And it's got a nice um, holder, like a kind of a bird's nest type holder uh, underneath, which I liked. Um, I liked the dish quite a bit, but I'm not certain of what the price was. Um, so let's say aside from the price, I like this dish. 
They have two types of Beijing duck at Zhenjidi. The first one is their signature Beijing duck for $128 with warm crepe, scallion, cucumber, and sweet bean sauce. And then this is their caviar Beijing duck with northern caviar on top, a brick filo crisp for $268. So I guess that's the additional $140 is for the caviar. And then also they had a kind of a mango underneath, which is kind of neat. So again, it's a nice aesthetically pleasing dish. It is neat with the mangoes, but I'm not sure I'd pay $140 extra for um, you know that extra bit. Um, in my mind, just my recollection, the, the duck was a little bit smaller than I saw at, um, at uh, Chang'an and Mot 32. So um, again, I didn't think, um, if not, $128 is about right, uh, but I thought the duck was a little bit smaller. I couldn't find this dish on the menu online, so I'm not sure exactly what it was, but I think it was like a pork dish, but it had a lot of chili peppers and a lot of, um, you know, nuts, peanuts. Um, so it was a good dish. Uh, don't get me wrong. I enjoyed the spice. I enjoyed the peppercorn and I enjoyed everything about the dish, but half the dish basically is wasted because you're not going to eat the peppercorn. You're not going to eat the chilies. Um, so um, there is, it is a good dish, but um, again, a bit um, wasted in terms of the actual overall um, edible uh, nature of it. These are the Chinese desserts. And again, I don't see it online. I'm not sure what it is, but um, this was kind of a sweet dessert. It kind of like a um, paste, a bean paste. And I thought it was a neat dessert, so I enjoyed this. This is another um, neat dessert that you don't see very often. It's kind of, again, a bean paste with some, I guess, um, nut on the top of it. Um, so again, neat um, design. I thought it was a unique dessert. Uh, but again, I don't know the pricing, uh, so I'm not sure if it's good value or not. This is the last dessert that was um, kind of a cake with a little bit of um, mousse or um, filling inside. I thought it was a decent dessert. All in all, good meal. Um, and so I struggle with these uh, ratings of Michelin star restaurants where it is good. It's kind of like Publish on Main, um, but it's even more pricey than Publish on Main. So um, I definitely can't strongly recommend it. So I'm kind of hovering between recommend and not recommend. And I think I'm going to go with not recommend just because um, for the value, um, I just think it's kind of out there in terms of the pricing. It's good food, but I think there are plenty of other Chinese restaurants in Vancouver that would serve you similar quality and have less um, price for sure. And in fact, I think there are many other restaurants that serve uh, duck dishes that are, I think, as good, if not better than this restaurant. So for that reason, I'm going to not recommend it. Um, but again, if you are prepared to splurge, um, you know, you're going to make a night of it, then um, expect that it's going to be an expensive meal. I don't think the service is that bad. It's good. I think the food quality is pretty decent. I just don't think it's at a one-star Michelin level. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, happy eating.